Welcome back guys to another showdown OU live and today we have a pretty heat team I did mention this in the uh, did I mention this in the announcement video in the update video? I don't know. I don't know if I did but um, my buddy uh, from the From the NBA our captain from the PWM jar lent us this team I actually played against it and it demolished me. It's a really cool team. It's really fun uh, And it works pretty well, too and I'll show you guys the sets really quickly. It's it's so funny uh, what this guy's done with this team. So we got a Megalopony here, as you can see. Max HP, eight special defense, and one, and two fifty two speed. Timid, timid for no reason. Uh, <laughs> he lowered the attack because it has no attacking moves. As you can see, this thing is sub cosmic power, but taunt pass on court. And you're probably like, what the heck is this? Trust me, this actually works. And I've been uh, been trying it out a little bit. It catches a lot of people off guard. They think you think you're gonna go for the offensive move and you sub in front of them and then you just start cosmic powering and you have good good enough HP to take hits at plus one defense and plus one special defense so uh, and then once you're uh, but once you're cosmic powered up enough you can pass it into Manaphy go for a tail glow behind a sub and sweep teams now of course Volcanion other Pokemon like Seismitoad are problems for this uh, but we have other answers for that I'm actually considering uh, maybe swapping up uh, the Tyranitar that's on this team because at plus six your your Surf in the Rain is still taking out Latios or Latias anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, you don't really need to pursue trap things, but I'm gonna use it, the team the way that it is for now. We are Choice Scarf, Heatran, we have um, Heal Bell, Roost, Nasty Plot, Togekiss, which is also really good with uh, with defense increases if you put if you pass them into this thing. It's got Heal Bell for the status, so you basically mana fee or Togekiss to clean up games. Uh, I've also passed defense boosts into Garchomp, and it actually becomes really reliable as a uh, as a tank. A Rocky Helmet Chomp with Endure, which t uh, gets off a lot of damage on things like Metacham, Crawdon, a, a bunch of Pokemon that would just uh, normally take you out and just end up killing themselves. And then we have our Pursuit Titar here. It's Assault Vest, so it's pretty good for taking special hits. So let's, uh, I won't waste any more time talking about the team. Let's just hop into it, and I can show you guys how the team functions. Now, as you can see, this guy does not have a uh, Volcanion or anything like that, but he does have a few. Uh, he has the Serp and he has the Starmie to take on the Manaphy, so it might not be the most reliable thing to Baton Pass right away. So I'm going to keep the team hidden. I'm going to keep the uh, the objective of the, of the team hidden, and I'm just going to lead with Garchomp. It seems like my most solid lead against the majority of his team. If he wants to lead with Serp, then I can switch into my Heatran and then fire off a Fire Blast on something. Should be able to do very good damage to most things. He does lead with the Starmie, so that kind of projects an offensive Starmie right there. Uh, I don't really want to take an Ice Beam from this thing, so I think I'd much rather switch out into Tyranitar. We are Assault Vest, so we should be able to take even the water hits, and we'll be able to get off a little bit of damage with the Sand, and Pursuit Trap this thing. Luckily, he does not burn us, and we will be able to go for the Pursuit right here. If he expects it, then he could potentially still burn us on this turn, but I'm really hoping, hoping to weaken this Starmie so that we can sweep later with Manaphy. Let's see how that works out. Like this guy, this team guys is really, really fun. He does stay in, predicts the uh, the pursuit, gets the burn. Unfortunately, we're going to be able to hit that thing for no damage whatsoever, and then we're going to have to go for a crunch right here. Uh, he's going to go for the recover. We're going to be able to hit this thing pretty hard with a crunch, 54%. Get the defense drop. I don't see why he would stay in here. So he's actually going to stay in and he's going to go for a Scald. We're going to be able to do a little more damage with the pursuit, and Sand is actually able to knock him out. So that's one of Manaphy's checks gone. The only thing left is the superior. That's the only thing we have to worry about. So what I'm going to do here, because he no longer has a very good Heatran switch in, I'm going to go directly into it. As he chooses to go into Scizor, that's good, so we catch that. And now his best Pokemon that he could go into right now would be the Tyranitar. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to Flash Cannon right here. As he goes into the Titar, we end up weakening that thing to Fire Blast the rest of his team later. And if he stays in here, we are Scarfed. Even if he is Scarfed, he still has to take this Flash Cannon. So he's going to make the smart play and switch out into his Talon Flame. Uh, it's still gonna, it's going to take it pretty well. And I'm going to double into our Garchomp right here. He goes for the Taunt to keep me from being able to go for uh, anything but Earthquake or Dragon Tail. I am just going to tail this thing. He's going to switch into his Landorus. I'm guessing he's Rocky Helmet. And he's going to be able to uh, hit us. Yep, there we go. And we drag in his Serp, which is very unfortunate. Uh, I'm just going to go into Heatran now. It's a fine play. He goes for a sub. Uh, he won't be able to do anything to us regardless. So I'm actually just going to go for the Fire Blast right here. Hope we connect both. 
Uh, there we go, we're able to take out the superior sub. He goes for a leech seed, he will not be able to stay behind that sub. I fully expect T-Tar to, T -tar to come in here, and uh, we'll see if that happens, as it does. Good. So, we catch that. Now, hopefully his Tyranitar is not, um, is not Ice Beam and, like, Scarfed. We'll go for the rocks right here, we'll see what he is. He's got Ice Punch, which actually still ends up taking us out, so I'm guessing Banded? From the way it took the, uh, the Flash Cannon? So what, what can we do here? We can go into Manaphy and, uh, and fire off a Surf. We do have rocks up now. Or we can go into Lopening, and I think that's what I'm gonna end up doing. I'm gonna go Lope, and I'm gonna go for the Substitute right here. I'm gonna Mega Evolve, he's gonna go for the... Ice Punch again, so that confirms that he is choiced in some way. We are going to Cosmic Power up here, and I want to see how much this Ice Punch is doing after that. It's doing 31, okay, so not bad damage. We will just go for the Cosmic Power again, I think, or do I really want to risk a crit right here? Now, you know what, I'm going to Paton Pass this off into Manaphy. And, uh, <laughs> the guy that's, uh, that's watching our battle is, like, freaking awesome. <laughs> he already loves this set. Uh, we're going to go for the Tail Glow right here. And the only thing he has to take it is his uh, superior. So we'll see here. His Talon Flame comes in. I'm assuming it's going to try to just get off damage on us. I'm going to go for the Rain Dance. Uh, he's going to go for the Acro. It's going to do absolutely nothing. We're going to go for the Rain Dance, and we are going to rest up to be at full health. Actually, do I want to do that, or do I just want to go for Tail Glow again? I'm going to go for Tail Glow again. That ensures that we'll be able to take out the superior, and we should be able to win this game now. So let's go for the rest on the Talon Flame. He actually taunts us, so good play on his part. Uh, I should still be able to take a Leaf Storm at, pl uh, at plus one special defense after his acro. Let me just calc that. Superior. I mean, it doesn't matter at this point. What happens, happens, but we're still going to calc it just for the, the sake of it. OU Tail Glow plus ta three attacks, but we are fully invested in HP. And we have uh, plus one defense right now. Uh, and plus one special, excuse me. Leaf Storm does 63 to 75. And this is from a Life Orb Surf, which we already know that he is not. So we can just fire off the Surf right here. And we should be able to take his Leaf Storm right now. So we'll see. We'll see. And we should be able to also knock him out at plus four. That should be no problem. Uh, if that's Scald, this is Surf. And it is at plus six. And it's in the rain as well. So yeah, that's going to take him out. So let's just go for it. He goes for a sub, so very smart, very smart, uh, killing off a little bit of rain right there. And uh, I'm just still going to fire off a Surf, I don't really care. Uh, he's going to go for the Leaf Storm, and he's going to get knocked out by the Surf, I believe. Yes, he is, there we go, and now there's nothing he can go into to stop this. Uh, it's pretty much over, and he forfeits, there we go. So, obviously, he could Bullet Punch me with the Scizor, but it was uh, Mega Scizor, it's not banded, so it won't be able to do anything to me. And his uh, T-Tar, uh, his uh, Landorus was obviously Rocky Helmet, we saw that earlier, and his T-Tar was banded. Now, his T-Tar could have potentially outsped us, so he shouldn't have just stopped right there, but it was still looking bleak for him, especially if it w he wasn't max speed. I'm assuming it was max attack, so... That's the first win right there, and we get stall, and this is where this is going to be really, really fun. Uh, never mind, he just forfeits, and we're gone. <laughs> All right, well, we'll get another one. I really wanted to try this out against stall, because, like, you can set up with Lopany on almost anything on stall, and just start setting up cosmic powers, pass this, uh, the sub into Manaphy, and then just wreck shop on teams. Like, Amoongus does not take a plus six surf. Uh, in the rain, there's there's just no way. Like I'll show you guys, Amoongus, are you defensive? Like I mean, it does, yes, but it does not take two. So uh, this is another guy without a very good Manaphy answer. I just need to weaken that Rotom a little bit, and um, we should be good to go. So I'm actually going to lead with uh, Manaphy. Actually, looks like a pretty solid lead, but I feel like he's just gonna lead with the uh, with the Rotom. So I'm gonna lead Chomp. As he chooses to lead with Latios, so that's not a very good lead for us. I'm just going to go into Titar here. He could predict that and switch out into his Breloom, but I don't think we really have a choice. Uh, Titar's Pursuit does a tremendous amount to Latios. I think it might even knock it out. We are Assault Vest, so we take that Surf like it was nothing. And uh, we'll be able to just spam Pursuit right here. He goes for the Draco Meteor, does a little bit more. And uh, now his special attack is decreased, so he will go down to Sand right here, and we get rid of the Latios. So that's one thing gone that was in Manaphy's way. On the uh, Breloom, I don't think I need T-Tar for anything else, so I'd much rather just get off some damage on this. At the same time, if he sets up in front of me, 
I think he would just spore, honestly. Yeah, exactly. There we go. All right, so we break any potential sash with the sand. I'm actually going to save this and swap out into my Togekiss. Uh, he actually went for Rock Tomb. That was really good play. That was a really good, destined to be a very good play on his part. Very unfortunate that he missed. Uh, I'm just going to go for the uh, swap into Garchomp actually right here, uh, predicting the switch into Heatran as he does not go for it. He goes for a Rock Tomb, lowers my Garchomp speed. Not a big deal. We're already slower than Breloom. Uh, but I'll be able to get up my rocks right here, which is going to be pretty important. He's going to go for Bullet Seed. He's going to get three three hits, all right? And he's Life Orb, as we see. I didn't notice that on the Rock Tomb, but he is Life Orb. We're just going to go back into Togue here, as I fully expect him to... Okay, well, he uh, makes a smart play and goes for the Rock Tomb, all right. Um, I am going to keep my Togekiss, though. I'm going to swap out probably... You know what? Um, let's go... Let's sack Titar here. Let's just sack Titar and have him take damage from the uh, from the life orb, as he has to hit me one more time to be able to take me out. So, and we reset Sand, which is also very good. Let's just go for a Crunch right here. Uh, I fully expect him to just click Rock Tomb again. It's his best play. Hits Togekiss, and then I'll probably just bring back in Tog and threaten him out. Or I can even bring in. Uh, Heatran, but if he does actually have the Mach Punch, then we could be in trouble from doing that, so don't really want to risk that. Togekiss is just the safest all-around play, and being faster than this thing means that we can go for a Roost right here as he chooses to go for the Rock Tomb. Lowers our speed once again, unfortunately, but he is going to die to the next round of, um, of uh, Sand plus Life Orb, so that's pretty much going to be the end of his Togekiss, of his, uh, not his Togekiss, uh, of his Breloom, but I think I'm actually, I might sack this because Garchomp has a better matchup against the rest of his team than this does, because this is pretty much walled by three of his Pokemon, so he goes for Spore, so he's, uh, he's gonna keep his Breloom alive temporarily, but he does not have a Defogger, so I don't see why he would keep this from here on out. And uh, we are going to kill off a sleep turn, so if he does decide to switch out, we could potentially wake up. But he just attacks us and sacks off his Breloom, which is the good play, so. Uh, now, seeing as the uh, Rotom is very healthy, I kind of want to just go into Lopany here, predicting his Rotom to be his play, as he actually chooses to bring in his Landorus. Okay. Well, I'm going to, um, I'm going to Cosmic Power. Yeah. I'm going to Mega Evolve and Cosmic Power, and I'm really curious to see if this thing actually anticipates me to go for a sub, or if he's just going to go for a Will-O-Wisp. Let's see. He goes for a Hydro. Good play. Good play. Good play. Uh, I'm just going to Cosmic Power again, honestly. I don't mind that at all. Uh, he's actually going to switch back into his Landorus, so we're going to be able to get off another Cosmic Power right here. I already know that Earthquake, even from Bandit, I believe, cannot take us out from this range. So I'm just going to go for a sub. He's going to go for the Earthquake. He is faster than us, uh, but I will be able to... Let's see, that did 30, so he can break it. Uh, and after another, uh, after another Cosmic Power, I won't be able to take it. So I actually have to Baton Pass right here. He's going to be able to break our sub. But we're going to be able to go into Manaphy right here. And with the plus two special defense, you guys are going to see, I'm going to Tail Glow right here. He's going to be able to do nothing to us. Uh, he's going to go into Rotom. The best he can do is Volt Switch. We already know that. If he goes for the Will-O-Wisp, I can Rain Dance. So I'm curious to know how much Rotom actually does to us. Actually, you know what? Let's not even calc it. Let's find out. And let's go for, I think another Tail Glow is fine. Um... I'm actually going to go for the Rain Dance, just to be sure that I can heal off status. He's going to go for the Volt Switch, it's going to do absolutely nothing to us. And now we'll be able to KO anything that comes in. He goes into his Heatran, so that's perfectly fine. That's pretty much just, he is a defensive Heatran as well, so he won't be able to take this Surf, as we are able to knock him out. And now he has to deal with this, so... Uh, I think Metagross goes down. I have to calc this one, guys, because this is actually kind of important. Uh, surf at, not plus 6, at plus 3. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it should still go out in the rain. Uh, so let's surf it up. And he's gonna go for the Thunder Punch. That's gonna do a little bit of damage. Luckily, he doesn't get the para. It wouldn't have mattered anyway, because we're in the rain. So, that's gonna be the end of that. He's gonna go into his Landorus right here. And we are going to surf this as well. Actually, I might just rest here. Yeah, I'm gonna rest. I'm gonna risk the crit. And, uh, we're gonna go back up to full right now. And uh, now we're just going to surf again. As his Earthquake does very little, we were able to take out the 
Landorus, and again, all his Rotom can do to us is Volt Switch, and he is going to forfeit, so that's going to be it for that game, and uh, oh, we're back up to 1689, very nice, all right, so let's keep going, we'll get one more, and that's going to be the end of the live, this team's actually working out, thank you so much, Jar, this is, this is awesome, I love when people give me teams, man, it's just like, I don't have to, I don't have to build for a given week or a given day, it's, it's fun sometimes, you know, it's it, it's hard always coming up with, with new and innovative things, and it's very demanding, so if uh, if you're good at it, if uh, if you're a great team builder, keep it up and keep practicing, that's actually what makes you very good at Pokemon, is is when you're a good team builder. Playing is is only like 25% of the battle, building and, and recognizing and having knowledge of sets and, and plays and what to do in what situation and what you should bring initially is, is pretty much key to winning, so... Here, uh, we have a little bit of a bulkier set. I don't really want to set up as long as I don't know that that uh, Clefable is um, is unaware or not, which it kind of looks like it is from the team composition, seeing as it's stall. So this might be a little bit of a longer game. What I'll do here is just go for rocks. We'll be able to get them up alongside his Leech Seed. All right, cool. And uh, now we're just going to go into Heatran right here. Basically bait in his, uh, his Chansey. And what I'm going to do on Chansey is probably going to go into Lopany and set up a... Yeah, I'm going to go into Lop. And uh, I'm fully predicting his Chansey to want to come out here. Uh, he goes for a Leech Seed, actually, and risks me Fire Blasting. Okay, well then, let's go back into Heatran. Uh, I'm sure he can't risk me going for the High Jump Kick. Or can he? That was really, really risky on his part. Like, if I actually Fire Blasted, his, his Ferrothorn was gone. Like, and I obviously showed rocks, so... Okay, he's going for Gyro Ball, so I don't, I don't understand exactly what this guy is thinking, but he could have lost his Ferrothorn on two separate occasions. I can definitely take it out right here, so finally he chooses to switch into Chansey. Smart play. And uh, that does 14%, so very little, as you can see. Now, what do I want to do? Um, if I had Flamethrower on this thing, Togekiss would just win at this point, but... I'm going to go into Chomp, and I'm basically just going to Dragon Tail him out, most likely. And uh, we'll see what he wants to do here, but um, I really wanted Lopany to just set up a sub and and go for um, Cosmic Powers. Like, obviously, I, I know that his... Uh, he goes for Toxic. Okay. Um, I know that his uh, his Clefable is more than likely unaware, but it doesn't really matter because we'll still do a lot with a uh, Surf in the Rain, so... Unless it's Calm Mind as well, that would suck. But we'll go for Dragon Tail right here. He's going to go for Soft Boiled, so we're going to keep this thing a little bit lower. Comes in at 70%. Ferrothorn gets dragged in, so very unfortunate right there, as now I'm just going to go... I think I'm just going to Dragon Tail him again, honestly. Just get him out of here. Keep him low as well. His uh, Clefable gets dragged in, and I'm just going to EQ this thing, just to get off a little bit of damage. Did it take uh, Stealth Rocks? No, it didn't, actually. Oh, okay, wait a minute. We might have a game plan here, boys and ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Manaphy might still be able to win this, from the looks of it, especially since his Ferrothorn doesn't seem like it has Power Whip. It's Leech Seed, Stealth Rocks, don't know what else. He goes for Calm Mind. Alright, so we're going to go down to Toxic right here. And what I'll do is bring in my Togekiss, I think. Yeah, I'll bring in my Togekiss. And I'll go for the Nasty Plot. Because his Moonblast is still not going to do too much. And uh, the best thing he can bring in on this thing is his T-Tar. Which I fully expect... He should switch it in right now. Like... I know I, it might not seem like I'm making the best plays in this game at all times, uh, but he's playing very strangely as well, so I'm going to heal Bell right here. I'm going to get rid of this, and uh, he's going to go for a Moonblast. It's going to do quite a bit, but we are going to be able to heal Bell off the Paralysis, and now we start Air Slash Flinching and getting our Leftovers Recovery, as he actually chooses to switch into Titar now. Okay, good play. Alright, well, uh, that's going to take a little bit of damage, and we get to see what kind of set he is. Let's see, he doesn't reveal it right away. Uh, I'm going to go for the Roost, I think, right here. He actually is Scarfed, okay. So, that's good to know. As now I can go into Lopany, and now I can get off a sub. And then start Cosmic Powering up, and pretty much win from there. So, looking good, guys, looking good. We're going to sub up right here. If he's Brave Bird, he's going to have to go for it now. Gonna go for the uh, cosmic power, unless he knows what set I am, and he's just gonna whirlwind me out. I'm gonna get behind a sub. If he actually whirlwinds here, that would be a great play on his part. I could lose this because of that, because of that switch into Skarmory. Let's see, let's see what he wants to do. As he is gonna whirlwind, okay. So yeah, good play on his part. 
Uh, gonna drag me out into T-Tar, very unfortunate. I'm just gonna go for the Stone Edge right here. And he goes for the Roost, so that's gonna do absolutely nothing. I'm gonna go for the Crunch this time. And, uh... We're gonna get a crit right there, no defense drop. He's gonna Whirlwind me out into my Lopany, which is bad. We are going to Encore him into Whirlwind. That way we know what he's going for at all times. And Manaphy gets sent in, okay. Alright, so I have to Surf right here. I don't have a choice. I have to try to kill this Skarmory because it's the only way I can potentially win with Manaphy at this point. And I need his T-Tar to like miss a Stone Edge on me. That's the only way. I can set up a sub on Chansey without it actually breaking my sub, which is great. Uh, I think it has to come down to Last Mon Manaphy, potentially. He goes into his Ferrothorn, okay. Alright, um... What's the best you can do to me? I mean, he, he can have Whip. Let's be honest, he can have Power Whip. I'm gonna switch into Heatran here, as he goes for the Leech Seed, so he doesn't seem to have it, because I could have potentially set up a, uh... A tail glow in his face. So, I think I'm just gonna double out into Lope here. Um, yeah, I'm gonna double out into Lopany on this thing. Again, I know we did that at the beginning, but let me just start the timer on him. Uh, Alright, this has been a very wacky game, but uh, he's gonna switch into his T-Tar. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, he doesn't know if we have it yet. If we have the uh, high jump kick. He's only seen three moves. So, let's go for the Cosmic Power. On the off chance he doesn't attack us. But he does, he goes for Crunch, okay. Alright, alright. Um, he's Scarf T-Tar, how much does he do to Manaphy? Manaphy. Uh, we already have Manaphy up there, give me Tyranitar. And I'm gonna have to take the one, plus one defense off. Uh, choice Scarf at uh, neutral defense. His crunch does 33 to 39, so what we can do is we can go into Manaphy. I can go for the Rain Dance right off the bat, then we'll go for the rest, and we will go for the Tail Glow following that. So hopefully that works out. And if he switches into Ferrothorn straight off the bat, that's bad for us. But, I mean, that's like literally the only play he can go for. I don't think his uh, Clefable takes a plus three. Um, a plus three in the rain, plus three surf. I'm gonna go for the tail go. Here we go. Let's try. Let's try to beat this thing. He goes for a leech seed. All right. So he is gonna be able to eat this up on this turn. Uh, I want to see if he can eat it up all the time. Pharaoh. If it's worth tail glowing again, I mean, because I can just do it on the chancy instead. Uh, OU utility. Uh, surf at plus three in the rain. Doesn't do that much. Uh, plus six. Plus six is doing more. I'm gonna tail glow again. And hope he doesn't have the whip. As he does. And he's able to knock us out with a crit. So very unfortunate there. Nothing I could do about that, but I mean, again, he was playing very strangely. I, I guess you could say he was playing well, uh, looking at it uh, in the other sense. But you know what? What I'm actually gonna do here is switch into T-Tar. I'm still gonna attempt to win this. And I'm gonna try to pursue trap his Chansey because it's, I'm pretty sure it's coming in here. He should be able to live any fire hit I go for, but uh, I don't think he would want his Ferrothorn to get re weakened for no reason when he has a perfectly good switch in Chansey. And there it is. And now we can just go for the Crunch and weaken this thing. I don't think he's going to switch out on a potential Pursuit. Uh, we're going to go for the Crunch. We're going to do quite a bit of damage to him. And now I can just go for the... Can I still win with Fire Blast? No, because of his slow bro, right? Not even Earth Power. Maybe Earth Power. Actually, looking at it, if he switches into Slowbro and I always get a special defense drop. I need to keep this, though. I, I definitely need to keep this. He goes into his Clef. I'm going to switch out into Heatran. Hold on. Wait a minute. This isn't over. This is not over. This is very far from being over. As uh, his Chansey now comes in at 12%, so he can't switch into a Fire Blast. I don't even think it can take a Fire Blast in general. If I, if I had just Fire Blasted turn 1, man, we would have been able to win with Manaphy, no problem. He goes for a Calm Mind right there. Smart. Just go for the Flash Cannon, honestly. It does 46%. Gets the Spideff drop, very nice. He's going to th Thunder Wave us, obviously. Why else do you bring Clefable to games? And we're going to lose to Stall, unfortunately. He's going to Soft Boiled. Uh, don't understand why when he can just attack us. He's now crippled the only thing that could have potentially won him the game, so... I don't see why he's doing this, but... 
Maybe he doesn't know that we're Scarfed. He goes for Moonblast, there we go, it finally attacks us as we get off the Flash Cannon, kill the Clefable off. But because our T-Tar is poisoned and he has his own Scarf T-Tar, he will be able to finish us off with, I think, Super Power is more than likely coming. Um, yeah, there we go, and that's gonna finish off the Heatran and the Tyranitar as well, so that's gonna be it, gate guys. Uh, sorry I couldn't get three wins, unfortunately. Uh, sorry, Jar. I really wanted to show off your team with three wins and, uh, and zero losses, but, uh, we weren't able to beat Stall because he stayed in on a Heatran with his Ferrothorn and risked it, so... Oh well, that's gonna be it guys, if you enjoyed, if you enjoyed watching this awesome team, uh, let me know, hit the like button down below, leave a comment, hit me up on Twitter, it's in the description, and uh, of course, if you, if you want the team, let me know as well, in the comments and uh, on Twitter, I'll uh, ask Jar for permission if I can start handing it out, and you can use it yourself and have fun with this uh, really cool team, and that's it guys, thanks again for watching so much, I appreciate your support, and I'll see you guys later, ciao.